hello everyone and welcome back so in today's video what we are going to be doing is solving the cyst problem of a vaccinal dp contest now today's problem is very famous problem and chances are you guys must have already heard about this problem so i'll go on explaining this problem but before that i would like you guys to subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so without any further delay let's get it started now today's problem is LCS and LCS stands for longest common subsequence. So let's read the problem statement. So you are given two strings S and T and what you have to do here is you have to find the longest string that is a subsequence of both S and T. And they have also given the definition of subsequence which I am going to discuss later on in this video. So before that let's read the input format so you have the value of s and t in different lines and then you will output the longest string that is subsequence of both s and t so if you see this sample input this is the sample out output which is the longest subsequence of both s and t so let's look at what subsequence means now a subsequence is a it's sequence that appears in the same relative order but not necessarily contiguous. So contiguous actually means that the characters which we choose for my string need not necessarily be continuous. So what I mean by that is suppose if you take S like A S Y B then one of the subsequence can be A Y B or if you take uh, T as these character, then one of the subsequence can be A, B, B. So this is also a subsequent. So if you understood this, let's move on solving this problem. So we will be solving this problem using dynamic programming and we will be using two dimension DP array and the size of the DP array will be N plus one cross m plus 1 where n represents the length of the string 1 and m represents the length of string 2 and let's see what each element of dp array represents so dp of i comma j means what is the longest subsequence that we can find by including the i characters from string s and j characters from string uh, t so that's what it meant by s dp of i comma j now let's define our recurrence relation so base condition will be dp of i comma zero so zero represents that the number of characters in t r t string is zero which means it is empty so if the second string is empty then we can't find anything common so that's why the dp of i comma zero means zero and similarly dp of zero comma j is zero because the first string is empty and we can't find any common uh, common sub subsequence in that so that's why it's zero now what happens if uh, both of the character both both characters in the string are common that means if you take this example here a is common in both then what we have to do is we have to uh, add one because this is the length of a and then go on finding the longest common subsequence for the remaining string in s and t so that's what is written here so we'll just remove the a that is now x y b and similarly we will do the same thing for t we will remove the a and the remaining string will pass on and find the longest subsequent that is b y s b so if you understood this now let's see what is the other condition so if both the characters are not equal then what will be the condition or what will be the answer so in that case there will be two conditions which are 
एडल टू एस एस्क्रूड कैरेक्टर आई और एस्क्रूड कैरेक्टर जे सो लेट्स टेक एग्जाम्पल हेयर एंड इफ यू सी हेयर इन दिस एग्जाम्पल पोथ ऑफ द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टर और नॉट इक्वल बिकॉज एस इज नॉट इक्वल टू बी सो वी हैव टू एक्सक्रूड कैरेक्टर आई फ्रॉम स्ट्रिंग वन डेट इज एच एंड एंड वी हैव टू इंक्लूड कैरेक्टर जे सो दैट्स वॉट इज रिटर्न हेयर वी एक्सक्रूड एच एंड पास ऑन वाई बी कॉमा बी वाई एच पी और द सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज वी कैन एक्सक्रूड कैरेक्टर जे दैट इज वी रिमूव बी सो दैट्स वॉट इज रिटर्न हेयर If we remove b here, we have we are left with y s b, and we pass on the same uh, number of character from s. So that's that is s y b. And whatever the best we can do from both of this answer that will be stored in dp of i comma j. So if you guys have understood this, we'll try to fill the dp table. now i have taken the same example and i have just written the same recurrence relation because this will help us in fill in the dp table so let's see what this uh, row represents so this row represents the second string and this is a b y s p and i have also appended the empty string here similarly this column represents the string 1 which is a s y b and i have also appended the empty string so we'll come to know why i have appended this now uh, this is done because of our base condition which is like this dp of i comma 0 is equal to 0 and dp of 0 comma j is equal to 0 so uh, what happens if we have no character in a string 2 then we can't find any common character between both of the strings so we'll just simply fill zero in the first column so that's what i have written here and what happen if the first string is empty then that means we can't find any common character so we'll simply write zero and that's what i have written here now let's see what happens if we include first character from a string 1 and the first character from a string 2 so both the characters are equal and that means we can include this character so i have put one and how this one came it came from this formula one plus and now i'll go to dp of i minus 1 and j minus 1 so why this is written you will come to know here so i uh, dp of i minus 1 uh j minus 1 represents this column and this actually means that if we have found the common character then we'll just do 1 plus whatever it the left in the string so that is uh this and this from the first string so we have filled one here now if we include the second character of second string that means we have included a b from the second string and a from the first string then if you see uh, a is not equal to b then uh, we have two we have two condition which i have explained here dp of i minus 1 comma j and dp of i comma j minus 1 so which means we are finding a match of this value and this value so the match is 1 that's what it written here so if you uh, simply observe also if we include these character from a string b and this character from a string a then what is the common between both of them that is a that's what it written here and similarly if we include these characters from string 2 and this character from string 1 then here we can fill the same thing because 
a is only common and how we arrived at one we saw this position and this position and just put the maximum of both that's what it written here similarly we'll fill everything and let's see what will happen if we include two of the characters of first string which are a comma h and this i have already told you and let's see if we include the first character of a string two then these are common so these are common and the answer is one so we have arrived this by intuition so how can we fill this so h is not equal to a then that means we can take the maximum of this value or and all the math or this value so maximum of both is one so uh, basically what these two represents is if you go one step up meaning this position means we exclude this item because it's anyway not common to a so we exclude that item and see what is the best we are getting with uh, a and uh, this a that is one or let's exclude this a and see what we are getting the best with the remaining character in t so that's what it this and that i have already explained you so one is written here now similarly we'll fill for uh, b so now we have a and b in second string and a and s in first string now again the characters are not same so we'll take this value and this value and fill the maximum out of this which is one again now similarly why will we fill let's see what happens if something is common so s and s are common so that means we have found some uh, common characters and we can do uh, one plus uh, whatever are the remaining characters from both of the strings so which is this position so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 and that's what I have written here and similarly this is fill so if you go and fill in each and everything you will be able to understand and in the end this will be the maximum length of the string which is 3 so this is the longest common subsequence of length 3 and now how we will be printing this so if you see here how does we arrive at 3 3 we didn't get from 2 this 2 or this 2 because these are these value come from excluding uh, this else part but this 3 came actually when b and b were common so that means it came from 2 and then we did 1 plus so that's what is written here 2 plus 1 that is 3 so this 3 came from this 2 and so we can include the item b so we'll include the item b so whenever we go diagonal we we'll include that item so i have written b now i have come to this position now where this this two came from this two came from either of this or this so we can go to any of these so i'll come to here because uh, these were not common and that's why we were not doing any addition so if you see here uh, this were not common so uh, it came from this two now where well, this this two came from uh, it came from this one so i came here and i'm moving diagonal so i'll include y in front of this so i have come to this position and how i came to this position i came to this position from maximum of these value which is one so i can go here or here i'll go here 
so we are, how come how we came to this one position we came from a maximum of these so maximum of these is this position so i come here i mean this position and now how we reach this uh, length one so we came to this length one by this string which is empty so zero and once we move to diagonal i told you we have to include that item so a and this is the final answer and if you see here as well the answer is a h b and i have written a y b so there are i think two answers so a s b or a by a y b so both of these are accepted so if you understood this we will be going to code in this solution and i think uh, it's better to divide this video into two parts because i want you guys to understand how we will backtrack and find our answer so that i want to explain you properly so i will explain that in the second part so that's all from my side in this video i'll see you in the next video so if you didn't understand anything please go through this video and then we'll start with the coding part thank you everyone